Hey, it's Nick for Grayscale Gorilla. I am the Gorilla, and today we're going to talk about uh, some After Effects fun. I got an email from uh, Rashad, who is a, a reader of the blog, and he asked a question about aligning uh, video in 3D in After Effects and how to fly around space and end up pixel perfect on a piece of video in space. And uh, it can get a little tricky, so uh, I'm going to fire up After Effects and go through the uh, ways you can do this uh, and explain, uh, you know, uh, what, what, the, what the techniques are to do it and show you the best way. So let's do it. Uh, open up After Effects. I brought in two of my videos that I made for the five-second projects. They're both 1280 by 720. So to make a new comp, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just drag it here and make a new comp. And uh, it'll auto make a balloons comp. Now, um, uh, I'm going to go kind of quick on this. Uh, if you get uh, held up on anything, let me know if you have questions about details. But I'm not going to go into every kind of key command and everything. Uh, I'm going to kind of assume you have a, a basic knowledge of uh, After Effects. And if you need to learn more, ask me a question or go ahead and watch some of the older tutorials, uh, some of the more beginner ones. So let's go ahead and do it. We got a full frame video. And let me just set up what we're going to do and, and show you how um, uh, you may set this scene up or other people may set this scene up and show you what, what I think the problem is. So um, let's say here's our video. We want it to play for uh, two seconds. Okay, I'm going to add a new camera. And uh, by default, cameras will um, be pixel perfect sticking to the edge of the video. So if you click on the balloons, you can see there's no wiggle room. Um, as soon as you move a camera, uh, I'm sorry, you have to make your layer 3D first. So let's, uh, let me undo that. So as soon as you move a camera, you're not pixel, pixel perfect on this video, see? Now let's say you wanted to fly away from this video. Uh, so let's start here actually. So we'll make a position keyframe. Uh, I'm going to also shut off auto orient. And uh, so I'm going to make a rotation keyframe. And then at three seconds, uh, I'm going to fly backwards. We're going to fly back in space. Okay. And we want it to kind of land on another piece of video that's uh, maybe somewhere else in space. Okay. So I'm going to bring in another. Uh, layer. I'm going to make it 3D. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to pan it um, kind of like this. Okay. So, and then just, just to show it, um, I'm going to add another one just like it, kind of in another area, just to make it look kind of, kind of cool. I'm going to grab it right there. Bam. Okay. So let's say here's our video. Um, you got to make this stuff look good. So I'm going to add a quick solid. Add a ramp. You can see this real quick. Bam, bam, bam. Done. Right? Uh, so here's the animation. We're going to start on the balloons. We're going to fly back into this space here. And then um, we're going to zoom into. So we fly, flew back and now we want to zoom into the coffee. Uh, I'm going to start the coffee a little bit later so we can have some time to fly into it. Okay, and at four seconds, I want to fly into this video. And now here's the problem. We're going to zoom in. We're going to rotate around. And we're going to try to line this video up pixel perfect, okay? Now, you may be saying, you know, it doesn't have to be pixel perfect, right? We can get close. But then uh, a lot of times you'll see that uh, you need to match an edit, right? So we need to kind of do a transition, zoom in it zoom into another piece of video, and then and then the editor is going to cut to this exact scene, right? And we want to go away from your animation and start to go into the just pure video. And if we get close, like, we're getting pretty close. If we get close, okay, that's close, right? But you can see there's a little bit of bleed around the edge of the video, and it's not going to match up with a pixel-perfect version of the video, okay? So now, how do we fix this? How do we make sure this piece of video here is um, pixel perfect exact to the edge of the frame. And, and this is how uh, uh, this is how I deal with it. So let's look at the animation again. We're going to fly back. I'm actually going to set our orientation here. So now we're going to fly back. We want to fly in perfect, direct, perfect, pixel perfect into this video. Let's figure out how to do it. Here's how I would do it. Now we have our original video, 
which is the balloons video. I'll bring this up. And you can see our balloons video is pixel perfect to the edge, okay? And uh, we want to fly back over to this one and have this perfect. Uh, here's, here's what we do. We take the balloons video, which again is perfect. I'm gonna duplicate it, and I'm gonna take a copy of it uh, that I made and parent it to the camera, okay? Uh, I'm gonna shut it off, but it's, uh, it's still parented, okay? And uh, because it's parented, we're actually not gonna see anything move. That's because this, this um, piece of video, if I go to my custom view, I'll show you what's going on here. I'm gonna click on the camera so you can see what's going on. But now we have this piece of video that's tied to the camera, okay? And it doesn't matter where this camera flies around, uh, it's gonna be perfect in frame, okay? So the camera's gonna fly back, and then it's gonna zoom in to our coffee video, okay? And you can see it disappeared, but it's only disappeared because the coffee video is covering it up if I shut that off, okay? So now, uh, I'm gonna hit escape to jump back in. What we're gonna do is you can see that our balloons video that we parented to the camera is still attached in its new position over here, directly in the right position, directly where it needs to be. So now because we have this extra video ready to go, all we need to do is replace it with the coffee video, okay? As long as we're happy with our camera move, we can replace it with the coffee video, bam. And uh, we will, oh, that's the, yep, that's correct. So let's replace it with the coffee video. We just need to move it down. So it starts a little bit later, just like these other ones. And then we need to shut off the uh, original coffee one that was here, which I already did. We could also delete that. So now what we have is, uh, okay, so now um, the last step of it is we need to unparent this video. So this new coffee video um, that we replaced the balloons one with that was parented to the camera, we need to go into its final position, make sure you're at the end over here, and unparent it, okay? And now you can see what we, we have our, uh, we have what we need, which is uh, we have our original video, we're gonna fly back, and we're gonna zoom into the second video, pixel perfect, right? And if you need to do this more than once, you just duplicate that, uh, that original balloons video again and move it around. The, this, the only secret is, let's do it one more time just so I could show you. We're actually gonna fly back from here after this plays and uh, so I'm just gonna uh, copy and paste these keyframes so we're hanging out here for a second. We're gonna fly back uh, one more time and uh, so we're, I'm actually gonna copy and paste these keyframes so we fly back to the exact same point so now just to review we start middle we fly back we go to the right video okay we zoom back and now we want to go to this video pixel perfect ready to go uh, and let's figure out how we do that um, I'm actually gonna move this down a little bit so we have time to go into it and uh, let's go ahead and try to get close so again I'm gonna zoom in try to get my camera pretty close because we want it to line up. Now, you know, there are, again, like most things in After Effects, there are different ways to do this. We can do math and, and try to um, put our camera in the right place. But for me, I like to kind of roughly animate it out and uh, at the last minute, then replace all these little videos with the real videos, right? Okay, so we're close again. And now let's go back to the beginning and pick up another copy of the copy of the balloons, bring it over here, and replace it, okay? So the, the secret is, the, the thing you have to keep in mind is you have to go back to the original position so that you can grab a copy, copy of this original video to then parent to the camera, then fly this copy all the way over to the, to the end here. We, you can see we lost the copy just because the video ran out. Fly this copy all the way over to the end uh, shut off our original coffee video, and then replace our balloons copy with the with the coffee video. And then just we just need to offset this so we can see it. Okay, so we can delete our old coffee. That was our just kind of rough idea of where it is. And now you can see we have three 
different videos. We fly out, we fly in, and again, I missed the last step, so let's go all the way to the end and unparent that that um, video. So now you now it'll all work. So now we fly in, we fly out one more time, and we fly into our uh, our third video, which is another version of the coffee. So uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, you know, if you make a video a a, a a uh, project with a bunch of video screens you want to fly directly into one this is the how do you how do you get it pixel perfect and again you could do this with uh, um, six screens you could do this with nine screens same technique applies just keep one copy ready to go uh, that is a pixel perfect to the camera when you first make the camera and you'll always be able to make another copy so I hope that made sense. Uh, hope you guys followed along. Let me know if it wasn't clear. And uh, uh, thanks to Rashad for asking the question. And uh, I hope that's clear. I hope that's what you're talking about. Let me know if it helps. If you guys have a question or an After Effects question or a Cinema 4D question or a photo photography question even, let me know. I'll make a tutorial about it and we'll all learn more crap. Uh, that's it for me. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.